Okay, we're recording again. Alrighty. I hope you'll be able to hear me. This door is creaky, creaky, creaky. Let's see. Put this. Maybe that'll stop. So, the first part of this video. I started on my um, little Canon camera and it shut off. I don't know why. And so I played it back a little bit and the um, sound is not good. So that's not going to work out because obviously it's a way older camera and you have to be right next to it to get good sound. So I'll have to figure out something. I'm still figuring this stuff out, folks. So I really appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. So I had finished measuring that window right there. And to acclimate us, I'm standing right next to the door. There's one window here. And then obviously the loft. There's a window back there on the loft, and there's this window here. And I got the loft measured <laughs> there, there, there. So I got that all measured over there. So now I'm going to measure this window and uh, do the walls. So as I walk away, we will see how well my phone picks up sound too, because I don't have a microphone yet. So we'll see how this works out. So now we're gonna do number two window, which is window across from the door. which is, I'm going to do outside the two by fours. This would be nine and a quarter, 59 and a quarter, 59 and a quarter, and 24 and a quarter. 59 and a quarter, and 24 and a quarter, and then I'm going to make a note here, including two by four frame. So I'm going to write down including two by four frame. And then that way I know um, if I'm measuring just for like drapes, or whatever, you know, whatever it's included. So that works out for that. So now we're going to measure the walls. Now I pointed out earlier that the wall with the door on this side is higher than this wall, which is good because I want water catchment to go on in the outside of this building. So I'm very happy that the building already has that. So, whew, it's fly, fly, shoe fly, don't bother me. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. My arms are short. Sometimes I feel like a T-Rex. Trying to do this kind of stuff because my arms are so short. Okay, pull down on that, pull out on this, keep pulling down on that, pull out on this some more. 
And then this. <laughs> How do you guys? This is 102 and a half. 102 and a half. back a little bit more. Like this one. This one's a little bit better. <laughs> I told you this is going to be funny. What does that say? Porch light. So you add two inches there, that's 106, and add two, four inches up there, that's 110. That's close enough and a quarter. So, I'll look at that. 110 and a quarter. We're going to do the floor. We're going to do it in pieces because this floor here is going to be treated differently than that floor.
So that's the same. So, that takes care of, I think, pretty much everything I want to measure. Ah, okay. I haven't um, talked to the seller yet to see whether he still has the... Um, the metal covers for the tires here. So we'll see if he has that. And I want to measure and fill the boxes. So. Okay, so the wheel wells. We'll start on the door side. Now, the wheel well itself goes from. Fifty two inches from the door, fifty two. Fifty two, fifty. Down here. To there. Then the wheel well itself. And the hole is six inches deep. So sixty three, fifty from here to here. Six inches from there to there, and then it is Hopefully, the wheel well on the other side is about the 
same, right? Should be, you would think, well, it's just, just shy of six inches that way. And then from here to there is 52 and a half. Interesting. Okay, this is 52.5. the same. And this is the same, right? 70. And six inches. hope you've been able to hear me speaking this whole time and it is recording or else I've got 18 minutes of this wall on this side is a little bit longer than this wall on this side so this wall there is longer than this wall just by a couple of inches it is what it is. I'm not going to sweat it. Um, I do see an area above that window, that back window, where, see the, I don't, again, I don't know the language, but these right here, these up and downs, I'm assuming they this, where it's actually pushing against this and pushing against that, right? Well, back there it's not. Back there it's short, and so they've added a piece and it's still not pushing against this cross member on the top. So those two, I think I'm going to replace. Um, I am definitely going to replace those panels there. Um, you can see where there was water damage um, from before when this a uh, roof was redone. This is all done stuff. So I don't have to worry about the roof. Everything else looks pretty good. I mean, to my eyes, in all of my vast experience, but it does all look pretty good.
Um, I think the part where the wasps got in, let's, let's look out here and see. No. Nope, I'm wrong. But there is, see where all these nails are right here? You're totally missing this. That is where the siding comes here. So one side of the siding is probably nailed into this, but the other side of the siding is not. And they put up the uh, trim, all the trim pieces. They've done that the last couple of days. And the trim piece that they put here and here, here's the nails for it right here. So it looks like I should probably add another um, board right here and redo the trim piece and the end um, that T T one eleven hockey. Woohoo! I remembered. So there's that. Now I noticed they put the trim pieces, but up there in the I don't know what it's called, the part, maybe the soffit. Let's call it the soffit for now. There's light coming through still. So, and I thought that would be part where they would close it off. Um, there's a couple of wasps nests, no wasps in it. So I'm gonna knock the, oop, there's another one. I'm gonna knock all those down. There's one nest just starting, but they didn't get it going. There's all of that. Oh, there's another wasp nest. No wasps, just nests. So they were trying to move in, but sorry, it's mine now. Flies. So that looks good. So we got some wasp nests to knock down and empty wasp nests and my first tasks will be to build the boxes to go around the wheel wells to fix that right there although i may talk to the seller and see if we can't get his guys to, to do that, I, I think these two, these nails are the same. Yeah, these nails are for the outside of the trim of the window. They're just going through the, the siding. So I mean that board, those two boards up there, those boards there. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is start putting up the insulation. Well, and then obviously sweep it up and rub it and you know, get rid, clean it all up. And then start putting in the uh, the 
insulation. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put on the ceiling and on the floors, and the floor will include this floor, up this wall, this floor, and then between the ceiling joists, right? No, they call that something else. But in between that, that's where the bubble wrap um, insulation is going to go. And then on the walls, I'm going to put R13, R15. I haven't quite decided which one. And um, so that's going to go in the walls. And then over the walls, I'm going to get cedar fence plank. And it is going to cover probably this much of the walls, about the third of the way up. It's going to go this way. So, so straight up and down all the way. And it'll probably match the height of this. So it's going to go straight, 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 straight. And then... The rest of the wall, I'm going to angle it. So it's going to go pretty much like this. I don't know, can you see that? I don't know if you could tell, but that's angled. But it's going to go at an angle all the way up to the ceiling. And then It'll go at, at an angle, and everything's going to point to that corner. So, I, and I think I think it'll help it make it look taller, give it a, a sense of space. Um, you know, more height. And um, I did do the math, and doing it that way takes less boards. So I'll be doing that. I'll have to do more cuts. But this is all going to be a learning experience. So I'll learn how to cut wood real good with a power, a, a skill saw. So... There's that. I say so a lot, huh? And um, both walls, this wall, this wall, this wall, is all going to be slanted like this. But it's going to be slanted toward this corner up that way. So it's going to be straight up to here. And then I found a really cool piece of trim that is just, oh, I love it. And, but it's only about that wide. So I'm probably gonna have to put double now that I'm looking at it. But um, a really pretty uh, piece of trim that is carved out with little scrolls like vines and leaves. And it's a wood trim, and it's not the same color as the cedar, but um, I'll probably see it. And the cedar may or may not be treated uh, with stain or anything else. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. But I think it'll, the cedar will help keep bugs out. It'll help um, make it smell real good in here. And it will cost a lot less regular um, planking or uh, uh, drywall or any other kind of um, wallboard that I could put up here. 
So there is that. Hi, tiny little spider. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to do is set off a bug bomb in here. Sorry, everybody's gonna go. And I don't mind the long-legged, the skinny long-legged spiders because they, um, they eat all the bad spiders and you almost can't keep them out of anything anyway because there's a jillion of them and I have them in my trailer and weekly I have to web inside my trailer. So I know there's not a lot I can do about those. But any other, I'm mainly trying to get rid of the black widows. And if there's any wolf spiders in here, there's an interesting egg sack hanging over there somewhere, which it, it looks old, but still I, it's not something I recognize. Probably not something I want in my house. So there's that. Uh, let's see if I need to do any more measurements. Man, the floor feels good. It does go down right there. But I have not stepped on any place on this floor that feels soft. It does go up this way and down this way, but that may be because of the tires. So, and that's something I understand that I guess before I start, um, redoing major building I'm gonna have to level this but I'm also gonna move it over next to where my trailer is and once he moves it over there then I'll make sure it's real level because once it's over there I'm gonna eventually um, end up living in it because the blessed mess is gonna go away before and I preach your prayers before the winter rains start. We've already had a you know a couple of days of light sprinkle rain, and I can already tell one spot in the roof the water's coming through, and there's been hardly any rain. So sadly, I like blessed mess too, but it has served its purpose, and. I've got two feelers out to sell the blessed mess, and both of those places are going to be um, really good places for it to go. It will go to places where it'll be helping people. So that's good. I'm glad. And um, um, yeah, so. I say, stop saying all those things, huh? Alrighty then. I can hear that hawk outside. I hope you can too. Oh, it looks like the window and the door is double pane. That'll be helpful. And it looks like I will have to put, do something with the bottom of the door to uh, weather stripping or Maybe that's what this is here. I'll look. And uh, doorknob and um, deadbolt on the door. And that will keep the door closed. So basically, what's going to happen is my um, bed will be up there. And then in the head's probably going to be on the side window so that in um so that i can look out both windows while i'm in bed this corner right next to where you are 
you are set on the end wall um, near the door because the door is right there. So this is the end wall where the bumper is. That's the front wall where the fifth wheel trailer doobie jack thing is. And so that's why there's the bump up. <coughs> and um, <laughs> that crow sounded, that was a funny crow, huh? Um, my mattress is going to go up there. I don't know, you can't see, you can kind of see the floor. Down here on the floor. Right here is the uh, black tank inlet where like the toilet would go. But I'm not going to have a flushable toilet. I'm going to have a compost. So I'm just going to um, plug that off. I was hoping this is a gray water pipe. And there is a black water tank underneath. I can't remember if we said there was a gray water tank underneath or not. But there's also a gray water pipe here. Because his intent was to, um, you know, have a bathroom and a kitchen kind of thing. So, I believe... I'm going to do, because that's such a big hole, and I don't want to cover the black tank hole, I'll just plug it. That's what I've got in Blessed Mess, and that works just fine. So I'll plug it. My composting toilet will sit on top of that. I will have probably my a little bitty bathroom sink right here. There'll be a set of shelves that'll go from here, or at least almost to the ceiling. So a set, set of shelves from here to the ceiling. They may be see-through shelves on this side, so that I can access them from either side. And then I'll measure out here to the end of the bathroom. And there'll be a wall here. And on this side of the wall will be, um, let's see, on this side of the wall will be all shelving. And then this side of the wall, I have a stand-up um, bookshelf that's going to go against this. And so it's just going to be about probably 36. I think that shelf is 36 or 32. Yeah, so it'll come. It'll be just this wide, which will probably be perfect. So that shelf will be against this wall, and then there'll be shelves on the other side of this wall. And then this is just going to be curtained off. Maybe I'll get one of those curtain rods like in the shower that's kind of a, a handle. You know, you know how the, those go. And that side will be curtained off. And then on that side is going to be um, a cabinet with a like, closed cabinet. And it'll be short to where it'll be just as tall as the, the loft is. And it will come out about probably 30 inches. Yeah. So 
about 30 inches. And then I'll get a cabinet in here. And then next to that cabinet will be steps going up. So that cabinet will act as a landing for me to get up to my bed. And the steps will probably be three steps going up and the steps will have drawers in them for extra storage. So this would be the bottom step would be one, two, probably three um, steps going up this landing and then grab bars and banister so that it's safe because I am getting older and I am going to have to climb those steps to be able to go to bed every evening. So I'm going to need some um, good solid handholds as life goes on. So, and then those steps. Those steps will have drawers in them as well. And so they'll pull out this way. And there'll be a banister. So all of this area is see-through. And then that way from my bed, right next to you in that corner, will be the, uh, the tiny stove with the fire up on the wall where you are plugged in right there next to the wall. That's where I'm gonna hang the TV. I have a, uh, a, a cupboard that, or a cabinet with a tile top that's gonna go below the TV. And that's going to hold, you know, incidentals, whatever. And then the TV is gonna be, and below the TV will be a shelf that will hold like the DVD player and the internet connection and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And then right here will be my overstuffed big comfy chair. Or maybe over here. Big comfy chair. And Probably up along the top here, I'm going to put um, more shelving. And then also I'm going to put kind of an area where Biddy can walk because I know Biddy, she's going to want to get up there. She's one of those cats who likes to get as high as she can, sits on a shelf, and looks down upon her domain. You know, so she's going to want to do that. So she's going to need um, steps somehow where she can get up there and walk along. And then I'm not sure where yet, but somewhere over in probably there is there's going to be an exit where Biddy can go out and get to her catio. I'm going to um, close off once I get to Desert Rest, actually, yeah, Desert Rest. Um, we'll build a catio that will be inside. So she'll be able to get out and go through a little tunnel, go into the catio, and outside in the catio is where her um, cat box is going to be. So for a while, her cat box will be inside, which makes no difference because we basically both use a litter box. And um, I've had no problem with smells or anything like that. And so then she'll have her catio. And maybe during the summer, she'll have be able to enter and exit 
through a window as well as that. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but that's that's basically what we're going to do because I know I don't set her something up high where she can sit. She's going to make her own place, which means if I have books up there, doesn't matter. She's going to knock them off. There's tchotchkes up there. It doesn't matter. She's going to knock them off because she's going to make her place. And um, that's as a shift cat thing. So she'll enjoy that. Um, maybe above the door. I'm not sure. And there'll be... Um, I'm hoping to have a... Uh, a fan, a ceiling fan with a light up here. There's going to be a light outside this door. There's going to be um, another light on this wall. So this wall is going to have a light here and a light on this side. It's going to have plug-ins here and it's going to have plug-ins this side. So there's going to be a lot of control in this wall. And here, right next to the head of the mattress, um, there's going to be a, uh, I'm not sure if it's just going to be a fold-down table or it's going to be a little bitty um, uh, cabinet with a couple of drawers in it. And there'll be electrical set up right there, like a charging station. So at night when I have my phone, I can put my phone next to my bed on the charger. And and I think that's close. Oh, and then behind you on that wall, there's gonna have to be electrical on it. I'll plug in the TV and the DVD player, and there's going to be the main electrical there. There's also going to be the um, the internet's going to go through there. The antenna for the television is going to go through there. The weather station is going to go on that wall, and so. I don't think I have to have electrical for the weather station. I think it's um, battery powered. And so that will go on that wall. I'm going to have to run electrical wires. Water's going to have to be run to here. Electrical wires. I believe the box will be um, up underneath the, the tongue on the outside in an access thing. So electrical is going to have to be run. This wall here. how how it should go and then one's gonna have to be run across this wall so I can have electrical here then it's gonna have to go up to have electrical here so maybe this will go up to this and then this because it's just gonna have one little charging port here oh and um and uh, another light above my bed. And then it's going to have to go across and come down on this wall and a bunch of electrical on this wall. Now I'm going to run the electrical. Sound reasonable? I don't know. How are we? 51 minutes and 31 seconds. 
So that's probably good enough for now. Kind of hoping that he's going to leave this. Let's see if that one works. That one works. Woo! That one works. And it's a straight edge. So we'll see. That'd be nice if that stayed here. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but neither am I. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do when we get in there is start knocking down the bird's nest and get this place swept and I guess start on the wood pieces, excuse me, and the box and replace this wall. So that's the plan, Stan. So we'll see. Alrighty then. I'm excited. I'm really nervous. I have to confess, the last couple of days have been really difficult. Um, this thing is really, I'm really nervous about it, really nervous to get to and I hate it when I get like this, I get like this, Keith, you and Jen and I talked about this and I think what we talked about is, is what's holding me back. And it's fear. That's what it is. It's fear. If any of you have suffered from depression, um, a lot of it comes from fear. Fear of failure. Fear of the unknown. Fear of getting started with something and not being able to finish. And then fear. Now I'm in front of all of you guys and asking you guys to be faithful and following me along and then there's the fear of letting you down and it's and it's ridiculous i should be over that stuff i am intelligent i am very capable and um it's just scary <laughs> it really is so I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and it is going to, it's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. And I know it's doable. If other people can do it, then I can do it. There's no reason I can't. I may, I may make myself a sign and put it up in here. And I've got my little motivational quote I have in the trailer. I may print out another bigger one, put it on the wall in here. And, um, and then also put up, you know, a quote by um, Roosevelt. Roosevelt, she's, she is the one who said, um, a woman never knows how strong she is. A woman is like a, um, a tea bag. You never know how strong you are until you get into hot water. Eleanor Roosevelt is the one who said that. Now, um, Mrs. Reagan also quoted it. Or maybe it was um, Lady Bird Johnson's one. But one of them has it on their mugs. I think it's Reagan's wife 
because I think that's where I first saw it. And I mean, I, I knew, I know Eleanor Roosevelt had said it, but when I went to the Reagan Museum, I saw it on mugs. And it's like, oh yeah, I remember. So, um, so I may put that quote up in here just to remind myself that I can do this. I am smart enough. I am capable. If I get into something that I am not sure what to do, I have others in my life who can help me out. And I appreciate all you guys. So, here we begin. And we're going to have fun. So thank you for coming by Desert Rest another day. My name is Sherry. I hope you will hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and comment, 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 comment. Anything you want to say is fine. Everyone has an opinion and everyone's opinion is welcome as long as it's kind and constructive, and if you want to get nasty, whatever your problem is, is your problem. And I'm sorry, you know, if you feel that's what you need to do, but it won't be tolerated. And share, please like, subscribe, and share, because it really does help the YouTubers um, and the algorithms within YouTube and getting the channel out there and more subscribers and getting it going because I would love this channel to become an inspiration to other people too because there's lots and lots of couples out there doing this and families and you know men that are alone but you don't see a lot of women that are alone and um, a lot of it is because we're raised, I mean, I know my generation was raised that you'll find yourself a husband and he'll take care of you. Well, I am. I am 66 years old and single. So there's that. All right. Everyone have a great rest of your day and we'll see you again. Bye.